Down the execute, ready to go on through the flash of force. Zimmer away, and Immel, the only man with utility right now to try and hold us. I think Immel went into this without buying anything. So, edge of one ox, it's trade ox. You're looking for yet one more, and he does just that. And without the full what push from Paz, they're able to do a bit more early damage boosted up from CT. He goes three on two, and that bomb will it just be able to get into B? That it will, as with his teammate putting ships and oxygen into a semi winnable situation. Yeah, with the gap through the smoke, Paz is able to do some serious damage, but now the retake comes through. Notoriously the hardest site in Counter-Strike to retake, so a real good chance here for Skade to convert this one, despite the man disadvantage. As they pepper more damage with these blocks, the swing comes through, the flash, it's not quite good enough, and Paz and Logic Man deal the headshots. Two players staying alive here for Sangle. The kit on Logic Man as well allows him to defuse the bomb and put Sangle 1-0 in. There's only one MP9, there's Logic Man up close on the other side of this smoke, ready to spray away. Oh. Oh, there we it's go, perfect. right through it, two kills, damage onto the third, and that is absolutely flawless. That flash will just help out Major, he's just going to farm out anyone who dare cross. Paz and CT is just going to help hook the nail into that coffin, and Skade, they've just been completely and utterly nullified as they cross towards this site. There's the odd bit of damage spotted, you know, they know the players are there, the jump spots come out. They try to catch out Duplicate, eventually they do in the form of engine, and well... For Skade, that is a horrific buy, considering they've only been able to find one player. They've only got a bomb plant off it, and I think this is going to send them straight back down to pistols and armor. It absolutely will do, and it's just bizarre from Skade. It's like, in a scenario I need to work with, Versangle, 4 0 lead, and Emor trying to get aggressive in tunnels. Oh, what an opener. He's a good couple of rounds right now, but the usual use has just been perfect by Sangle to keep them at bay. Sejin, he'll be ready for the players to swing on too far ahead. The ship finds the first. He's caught out eventually by engine, but oxygen trades, and with an effective trade, it's actually put Skate in a fairly decent position on a bomb site, a fairly hard one to retake, with only one man disparity. You know, I, th I got excited. I thought it was the flying kill there, but no, it was actually oxygen on the site. They picked up two AWPs, and with the smokes in place too, this B site's pretty rock solid for now. If Sang will try and peek into this one, they're playing a dangerous game. The Molotov goes in place. Oxygen only good for one before he burns alive. And it all falls onto Denny's shoulders. If Sang will play their cards right here, they should certainly be able to make this happen. But with no flashbang, they have to go in dry for the gunfights oh, and the bait. It's absolutely perfect. Logic Man makes the noise. Major's cues to swing. And Sangle, they take it to five. A fantastic retake. It's absolutely perfect. Some rounds on the board just so they can stop this Sangle momentum because Sangle, they've been losing players. And, yeah, losing players is one thing. Logic Man finding this opening again doubles up once more. It means that the economy just won't be as heavily damaged as Skate it once. Oh, this is starting to get a little bit out of control here for Skate right now. This is a full investment. They're being absolutely wrecked. This should go 6-0, to zero, and there we go. Is Denny dropping? Duplicate, no chance. Logic Man. Well, for now, let's see if he's able to bring out this aggression. The flash will cause a peak, and, well, he's caught out by Denny's so, saw. However, he spots every man. Shoot again. And they swing that volley meant for him, and, well, he catches out one duplicate trade, and now as Denny's saw finds Imor, that's the problem with these orbs. And the issue with orbs is that they're really good to hold your enemy at arm's length. But when you need to get up close and personal, when you need to get your hands dirty in like a retake, they can prove to be fairly difficult to wield. And as engine aggresses towards top mid, auction finishes the job. Sangle, they go to in the tank, to be honest. Um, so they have put themselves in a fantastic position. But yeah, normally you see a 7-0 scoreline. You're kind of six. Another investment comes out. This time, not the triple orbs. They only stick with two. And the C4, as it starts to head towards B, what an opener from Oxygen. Just out the way, yeah, but it definitely puts them at a disadvantage. The use of goes out, and that was a perfect volley to buy space. Paz baited into aggression, ships shuts it down. Right, there are a man down, he wants to try and level out these numbers, but if he oversteps, the barrel will be spotted. Needs to go for the hard swing, and there we go, it's absolutely perfect. Rain Waker drops, stupid to say the least, but it may actually work. Immort gonna swing through this smoke. He's going to catch out the first one, what a shot, a duplicate there as Logic Man responds. Angle, they make it eight. I mean, it's just unbelievable from Emor. And even right at the end, Logic Man taking out the final man. As Mage up towards the his position known in hallway just gets around the corner. He tries to do damage, realizing he's got to fight his way out of this position. And he damages up Oxygen, but he can't quite kill him. So 
for the most part, he did the best of a bad situation. But right now, Duplicate, he's spotted out. Logic Man will try to catch him out and doesn't have to. Paz there to support him, meaning that Skade's only prong will be up long. But they try to reply with, like, one-sidedness of an attack oh. with speed. Immor, good one through the smoke. That's oxygen to full. And this also set the sight, but Logic Man rings true. The bomb calls out. The bomb is such an awkward position as well. Leaves Rain Waker, the main man, to try and open up this site. He's got the support of ships, but... It's from a distance, and as Logic Man shuts him down, these orcs of Sangle are just phenomenal. I mean, another just... As, well, Major, he's an anti-flash skate with early long control, they're going to shift right into Paz, but Paz, unable to catch out these members. Suddenly, it looks a bit more doable, but then he saw drops up. There he goes, he evens out the man account, he even goes and brings... Yeah, you've got to take into account their money is completely broken. Despite the fact they're winning 9-1, to one, they have hardly any cash to work with. But now it's a 3-on-3. Three three. Loads of damage has been dealt and Logic Man hits a fast flick. All of a sudden, this round winnable once he gets into CT. I think he's been heard, though. How has this gone so horribly wrong here for Sangle? Denny is able to jam one in the back, but Engine ready to respond. And with only 13 points of health on the orb, our Engine should be able to come out on top. Shoots at the dead body. That's unfortunate. C4 gets planted. Logic Man coming in from CT. Has to be careful. The AK, oh, it's just not quite connecting. Finally lands the final shot. And it all comes down to Denny and this two-on-one. Element of surprise in his favor, but can he pull this off? He shifts forward and he doesn't even go for it. Sangle, a beautiful retake, a beautiful readjustment to be a man down but to come out on top. And I'm kind of thinking back to yesterday on Inferno, where a similar scoreline to this, they were able to pull it back and keep it close. But right now, Skade are just being dominated. And if they lose this round, I don't know what left they'll have in the tank. It's Paz and Logic Man to ring true. Duplicate last man of standing, at least for the attack. There is a flank of oxygen, but he's nowhere near. He's not going to be able to help. And as Duplicate gets swarmed, they're going to get this bomb and oxygen. They're going to be able to reposition and get ready for him for now as the push goes out. For now, Skade, what good can they do? It's Immortal to finish the job. Sangle to 11 to 1. Logic Man tries to ring out an odd shot wherever possible. <laughs> Unfortunately, Immol's there to trade. Paz gets an extend of the matter. Trade either way. Oxygen and Logic Man both exchange blows. And once more, Sag will come out on top. Looks like Logic Man might even look to embed that lead as more shots ring out either way. More nades down around them. Oxygen now shifting forward into Major. Unable to come out on top. And Skade just being absolutely refuted. And it looks like Sag will just vehemently against Skate, even considering that a long control. Raid Waker, collateral with an AK, is a glimmer of hope, but it's a glimmer of hope at that. Well, the two versus two, somewhat winnable, but there we go. Rain Waker coming out on top with that engagement. That was a must-win fight. Now it just comes down to Engine, brings it back into a one-on-one. -on -one. Flashback elsewhere, he's deployed the Molotov into short and Engine. He's just going to re-aggress into CT. Denny completely unsuspecting of this for now. Then he's trying to make his way on forward. He's caught out by Engine, and just like that, Engine, he single hand. Oh, he goes to the BM as well. It's just heartbreaking. A Sagal make it 13, and as they lead substantially against Skade, they force. Or any other game in the EDC, Parimatch are our partners. And if you click on that banner below, you can get that first time sign up deposit bonus. This round, Skate have actually kicked things off to a much better start. They take a two-man advantage, but Paz looks to try and snatch it back. He's good for one as well. That presence should be enough Ooh. as Major finishes it off on ships. Rain Waker to trade yes once and more as Paz will... Well, Sangle looks to pull ahead. It's going to be Paz to try and catch out the initial member. Engine, he aggresses towards... Well, towards Long, but Oxygen shuts him down. It's all on Paz. And for the time being, this looks like it will be Skade's second, but I fear it's just way too late. Yeah, I mean, a 13-2 half is uh, certainly nothing to brag about. I think Skate of this, well, top of mid and, well, ship's duplicate and oxygen all take the damage because oh, of that. No. Paz lines up two of them, and it's just a perfect anti-strat from Sangle now. Rain Waker, he'll aggress up from long, but... What good is he going to do here unless he really just lines up kills instantaneously? Ships tries to just justify a peak. Rain Waker, nice little shot there. Good for two. Logic Man to trade. And once again, Skate find themselves. You know he's somewhere around towards CT. He's low HP behind the door. 20 points of it. In fact, needs to take the gun fights. There's the first headshot and a second. 1v1, definitely doable. But as he spams away, he runs oh. out of ammo. And Logic Man's able to pick it back up. Jakey, and as they back away. 
while well, Sangle looks to explode out towards this opposition. What's interesting by Sangle actually is there's now he's the lone defender of this B site. He needs to try and line up for a multi kill. Major just finishes the job. This again is all over for Scape. I said he saw hit something incredible, but out they bear much equity here. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Danny, all on his lonesome. He gets eliminated, and that was one of the quickest games of Counter Strike.